Hello. Sandra's back. Hi. <laughs> we may or may not have bought a team car. We're gonna try and get it started today. Anyways, uh, I'll show you what that is right now. 1984 Toyota Cressida. Um, we definitely were not planning on getting into a team car anytime soon, but this thing kind of fell into our lap and it's like in decent shape. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, we got Keith here who found the car. Thank you, Keith. All the electricals turn on and uh, no click. So I think uh, the starter might be kind of cooked, but we went and bought another one last night and we're gonna try and put that in now. It's the voicemail box of This is peak male physique. This is actually, she's actually perfect. You oh, kind of jinxed it. Nice. <laughs> We're pretty sure the transmission is blown up. When we put it into drive and reverse, it didn't move at all. We're gonna get it trailered out of here and uh, take it to a friend's shop. For now, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna try and start it up and see if it moves, but probably not. I know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no gas in it. No fucking way. No. Why? It doesn't really though, does it? Um, so, I found a second dipstick, which I'm pretty sure is for the ATF. We're gonna try and refill the transmission fluid because it worked like a little bit. So maybe we'll just try filling it up and see if that helps. There's a bug. Okay. Let's just try filling up the transmission and just see if it works, right? Because yeah. then we can avoid having to replace the transmission. Only. We just right. filled it up with Powerade. <laughs> um, it's so bright. Okay, let's rainbow. see. Let's see if it moves. Yeah. We, we just, just we filled up the ATF a little bit. It's a little fuck, but it's still. It moves. It like doesn't engage well. I think you need to put more in it. Maybe I, just I think it just needs more ATF. I only put like fucking half a liter. She good. It improved substantially. Oh yeah, Alex is here. I'm here. I'm here. I, I just arrived. We have a Cressida now. Yeah. <laughs> it's fixed. It needed Cressida. I mean, 
granted it is fucking wet but not bad i love brown brown interior is my favorite but it's so funny the window was so dirty we didn't notice that the sorry the windshield is cracked but, <laughs> but you know what that's fine um Things escalated pretty quickly. We figured out the transmission was leaking. We pulled the transmission and it turns out there was a gasket uh, in between the bell housing and the actual transmission itself that was dried out. We're gonna clean up the car, put the transmission back in, change the seal, do an oil change, cut the cat out, clean it. and then we're gonna go drive it. Yeah, let's show the seal. I wanna show you what it looks like. So this is the blown out one. It's, uh, it's pretty crisp, it's pretty rotten. I could break this thing in half. So this is how floppy they're supposed to be. You versus the man she tells you not to worry about. Oh, it's, it go. broke like a piece of spaghetti. The baby burgers are a little bigger, so you can only have, so you can get away with one baby burger. It's just cheese and ketchup. Are you recording? <laughs> this is a listing from New West, 2003. Um, let's see how big it is. Five bedroom house uh, for $359,000. I just want to show you like the beads that are in the center console. I'll just pull out a couple to show you. Old logo air freshener. So I got some oil. We're going to do a full oil change. Do you think that this is going to be enough? <laughs> That'll do. Um, I'm just going to turn turn it. Is the battery disconnected? <sighs> AM, FM. I don't think that the that the tape thing works. Um, squeegee, a strut, stick, flathead screwdriver, brown saw. You're hurting him. This is not tennis. This is badminton. This is for people of distinction. I don't know. Mm, there's some really good water if you're parched. I don't want to drink it. I'm sorry. 2004, I guess. 2002. 21 year old water. Yo and everything. Tastes a lot like water that's been sitting on the dashboard of your car. Look casual and cool, maybe. It is really comfy. And you got the center console so you can leave room for Jesus in between. It's got Bugs Bunny and I think it's a window cover. Oh, it is a window cover. I'm not really sure what we're gonna get, but it's So the little gasket that we had replaced goes like right in between the bell housing and the transmission. Um, as you saw when we were putting it on, it's just like a little rubber band that goes right around here. Slurpee machine with Sandra. I don't know about you guys. I know some people do one flavor. I always do at least two. So right now we're just uh, having the cat removed, we're going to cut the flanges and then put a straight pipe in between. The cat's really old, um, pretty clogged and probably not doing anything anyway, so you know, more free flowing and plus you get a good chunk of change stealing catalytic converters. So. <laughs> Good advertising. <laughs> Canon. Good for oily hands. Time. And then we're gonna go shoot rollers, and Rude Boy's gonna help us. This car is really slow. We're at Reed's house, drove the car on the highway to see if it drove okay, and it did. Uh, the brakes are 
kind of dicked, but we'll sort that out soon. Seems like it's low on coolant as well. The car drives, so um, plans for the car. Soon we're gonna try and get some wheels and then we're gonna take all the suspension out, make it really low. We're just gonna make the car look cool. That's all we're doing. That's the plan. All right, to the guy who commented and said he had to turn his brightness down because my legs are too white and bright, I'm really sorry. Send me a DM and I'll send you a sticker or something. My bad. Denim man. <laughs> yeah, that's probably it for this portion of the video. And yeah, that's the car. Alright, sorry to interrupt the team car video, but we are exactly six days away from our pop-up shop and Mikhail, who I gave wheels to last year at the pop-up shop. These are yours. These are for you. You know, now you don't gotta roll on giant replica wheels anymore. Yeah. He's still on these things, man. He wants to have his car in the main lot at the pop-up shop, so we've decided to get him a zero dollar one week free trial to owning real wheels. And uh, yeah, we're gonna head out there and get those wheels put on his car. And then after that, I'll talk to you a bit more about what the future of our Cressida looks like. I like real wheels. I'm just lazy, sometimes very stupid. There's stuff planned, trust me. Moist Boys Adam, small wheels, real wheels, 15s on an S chassis. He's coming for you, man. He's coming. Okay, what are you doing? I'm putting my car on its nuts. Hell yeah. Uh, brake clearance funny. So, yeah, the brake is uh, ever so slightly touching the inside here. Which is annoying, but that's okay. We will fix by grinding. So we're gonna take some of the face of the brake off so we can fit the face of the wheel on oh, without yeah. having to run oh, spacers. Got that side off the ground. Wow. Stiff chassis. We tried running these spacers like from this corner. and uh, it reduced the car to only having like three threads of engagement, which is not really safe. Higher, so so no those. spacers for us. We just have to shave some of the brake face okay. off. That's good. And uh, yeah, should fit fine. Alright, wheels are almost on, car's almost ready to go. Jonah and Calissa showed up, brought another S13 to our S13 party. Just His kidding. frame has like a quarter inch. Perfect! Start breaking. Start turning hard. She's good to me. She's mad. Dude, it's Looks sick. It looks so gassed. It's so low. It's actually slightly lower in the front, it almost looks like. Yeah, it looks awesome. Yellow Gatorade, lemon lime, is in fact superior. Fuck that to shit. I'm, Ga I'm team Gato. What? Gato. Yeah, you got yellow Gato hair. All right, that's a wrap for this video. 
I mean, Mikhail's car is finally on real wheels with just six days to spare for the pop-up shop. It's giving me a real kick in the butt to get kick-started on some stuff. But yeah, that's, uh, that's this segment of the video. And uh, I know I wasn't in the Cressida segment of this video very much, and that's because uh, I actually am moving the day after the pop-up shop, so I've been super, super busy packing, getting ready for that. Uh, it means we're saying farewell to the parkade that you've seen a whole bunch of times in our videos, but it means I finally have a two-car garage, and I'm sure you're gonna be seeing a ton of that on the channel. We finally have a place uh, to work on cars and store some stuff, and I'm sure you're gonna see everything from us working on cars to us styling up the space. Yeah, as far as the Cressida goes, I mean, we're thrilled to have a team car. The fact that we're finally building something for one of the touring events is awesome. Uh, first spec for that car isn't gonna be too nuts. It's just gonna be, uh, we're gonna slam it. We're gonna take the suspension out of it. Um, we're gonna get some 14 inch wheels for it and make it look pretty sweet. Maybe do some stuff to the interior to just get it on brand, build an exhaust or something like that. And then as things progress, like we'll probably do a few different specs of that car and maybe just challenge ourselves a little bit to step out of our comfort zones, learn some new skills and uh, just keep making the car cooler for each touring event that we take it to. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Uh, we really do appreciate all the comments, likes, subscribes that you guys do. And uh, if you're looking for another way of supporting Checkpoint Japan, go check out our store. Link is in the bio. Um, any of the merchandise and stuff that's there, I mean, that's a great way for you to support us and what we're doing. It just helps us make these videos better and helps us continue to grow what we're doing. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. Have an awesome time. Boom!